this is again we're walking down the main this is the main corridor and then we're going to 14 351 and we make that turn so it's an inside inside room two person room How you get it in the room you have these electronic sign and sale cards you just take it put it right on there there you go 14 351 oh i just broke the uh electronic key <laughs> This is for the electronic key that goes on there. I've knocked it off a couple of times. It just goes right back on. So with these rooms, if you take this, this key out, the lights will go off in like two minutes. So you leave this key in here and the lights will stay on and you can shut the lights off right here or turn them on. The other thing that's cool about this room is you got these lights for reading, whatever, and you've got USBs on both sides. USBs on both sides, and you got lighting for reading or whatever. So you have switches here to shut all the lights off. Turn the lights back on. This is a two-person room. So you have the one king bed. Or, is that a king or a queen? That's a queen. Well, they say it's a king because it's two twins put together. Oh, okay. But you can see we decorated it a little bit. Closet. And we already have some laundry done there. Closet. Put a safe. When we first got to the room, the safe didn't work. We had to get maintenance here to get on it. We have a refrigerator. And then over here, this is where we do our electronics. We have two USBs. We have three outlets. And two more USBs right here. We got a gift from Carlos. Carlos is the uh, hotel director on the uh, on the carnival uh, Mardi Gras, and this is a room steward, Dharma. And what's cool on these TVs, they put up there, "Welcome to Amber Cove." This was one of the ports we we're at today, and they put our name up there, so it's pretty cool. The um, bathroom, it, they're all pretty much the same when you get into these new XL class ships. Not bad. So <clears throat> we were in room 16255 last week. The internet was great. The internet in this room is tough. These are our little towel animals. So the internet here is a little tough compared to our room last, last week. But all in all, it, we like the inside room because it's affordable. And what else? We get to sleep in. Yeah, it's nice and dark. It's not yeah. bad. Yeah. Thanks for coming along, Hubbard's Journey. If you have any questions about the room uh, on the Mardi Gras or anything like that, why don't you shoot them down below and we'll get back to you. These waters cost money. Oh, uh, so the only thing I will say is there is a difference between some of the inside rooms. This is a more square room, if you will, mm -hmm. with the closets being on this side over next to the bed. Um, some people feel that this gives a little more space around the bed and then other rooms are more elongated where you really, really only have the width of the bed and then the closets are out near the, the door itself. Mm. So this is a different style of room. We haven't been in that, we haven't videotaped a... Okay, this is your temperature control. The blue is AC, the red is heat. If it's too hot in here, you hit this button multiple times to get it all the way up and then you hit this button and it's on the muster station is your muster station is c8 for those of you who are just starting cruising as soon as you get on the ship go to your muster station it's an easy process and it's expected you'll hear people you'll hear the captain calling go to your muster station go to your muster station and i'm assuming they're new cruisers that don't realize they need to go to muster. So when you get on a cruise, 
Go do muster. So okay. this is room 14351. And we gotta go because we, we checked in for dinner. We gotta go. We checked in for dinner. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for coming along.